Okay, I'm here at Yorkdale Shopping Mall and the VinFast store has finally opened. So let's take a look at the VF8 and the VF9 that's on display. Come with me, let's check it out. So this is the VF8, as you can see. The uh, monthly battery subscription is uh, 259 Canadian dollars for unlimited uh, kilometer use. Looks like you can charge from zero, sorry, 10% to 70% in about 24 minutes in the standard range and then in the enhanced uh, range which is a larger battery it's about uh, 31 minutes here's the uh, charge port here's a look at the trunk the VF8. Looks like there's a little bit of storage underneath. You could put a spare tire. And if you don't want to put a spare tire, I guess you could remove this uh, little compartment here, uh, the tray. And you could fold down the seats. Uh, 6040 looks like here's a look at the uh, the inside of the vehicle so this reminds me of the uh, model 3 with uh, look what appears to be about 15 inch uh, monitor uh, there is no dashboard display um, there are some real buttons tactile buttons uh, for calling looks like and then on this side looks like uh, cruise control um, and then here there's a stock here for um, I guess uh, for signaling left and right and then I guess a high beam and then another stock on this side here um, How are you today, sir? Okay, so um, a sales uh, associate came by, uh, Tyler explained that there's actually a heads-up display right here in front that shows the speedometer, so that's an improvement. And then here's a take a look at the uh, middle console here. You could see that there is the park, reverse, uh, neutral, and drive. I guess you can just press the buttons rather than uh, like the Tesla where you could just uh, uh, the transmission on the stock so that's great looks like uh, there's a power on button here it's a startup button um, and let's see what's inside um, so there is just a little box compartment inside so that's great and here's a look at all the, uh, the front seats let's take a look at the back seat and just in case you're interested, there are side uh, controls, the power buttons here. It looks like a eight-way or maybe a ten-way um, uh, seats. And here's the back seat. Looks like you could charge your. Uh, it's a USB chargers in the back, and there's a armrest here. There is a hump, a transmission hump, tunnel hump. Not sure why, but it is a four-wheel drive uh, vehicle. Um, and the carpet is a little fuzzy. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, because it's uh, been stepped on a lot. I'm not sure what's going on. But yeah, it's uh, comfortable um, in the back seat here.
There's the rest of the uh, sales office here. All right. Let's take a look at the VF9. There is a front trunk area. These tires are Continental tires. And the tires are 275, 40, 21. So it's a 21 inch tires. There's a running board here on this model. And here's the inside of the VF9. The VF9 uh, looks similar to the other VF. What are we doing? So here's a look at the inside. Very nice stitching on the leather on the top of the line model. The, uh, the transmission is very similar with the, uh, the four buttons here and a start button here as well. There is a little, uh, I, I guess you can close it. Here's the inside. Um, there are two, what appears to be USB uh, chargers. There's a little side button here, I guess to lock the door, I, I think. Here's the back seat. This is a wow, very uh, luxurious with a big armrest. Uh, let's go and sit. Oh wow, it's very uh, luxurious. And then there's a small display here. Looks like maybe about seven, eight inches display on the bottom for the back seat. Cup holders. And then a big armrest you could put more things inside. Yeah, it's very luxurious uh, captain seat. Let's see how you can get to the third row. I think you can get to the third row by maybe pulling this lever. Oh no, hold on, that, that just folds it down. My apologies. Let's try that again. So once you uh, slide the uh, seats all the way to the front and fold down the uh, second row seats, there are two back seats. Uh, it's pretty close to the floor. So um, unless you have very short legs, it's probably not that comfortable, I would imagine. And then on the side here, there are these uh, running tracks. Looks like you could uh, tie down um, things with it and uh, there is a USB key. This one doesn't have a transmission tunnel but there is a big uh, armrest there. And then here's the rear back trunk. Uh, it's a pretty small trunk area. And you can actually have it, it's pretty deep. I guess you could put other stuff, but uh, I'd say maybe less than 10 cubic feet altogether. Pretty small trunk space, and um, and uh, the roof kind of slopes down a little bit. So the back seat, third row seat, might be might have limited headroom there. Yeah, so here's a look at the beautiful VF9. Looks beautiful. Beautiful design. Looks like there are cameras on the side. You can see. So yeah, and here's some details for you. Looks like the extended range is 580 kilometers on the WLTP cycle and then 423 on WLTP cycle on the standard range. And then um, the monthly battery subscription 349 for both. 
So there you go. Beautiful.